Gestalts, such simple mobs added many moons ago who really didn't have much going for them. Until now. For you see, with the introduction of the Forgotten Knowledge update, these projections of something greater now share a much deeper connection to the moon, them, and the shadows that abound. From brand new mechanics to a detailed listing of the old, let us discuss how these ghosts from the moon are growing more terrifying by the day. And as I said, Gestalts themselves have been around for roughly a year and a half already at this point, as they were first added in via the very first Return of Them update here. They were and have always been solely found on the lunar islands up until a couple weeks ago and they truly have never really posed a threat during all this time. No, no, no. Gestalts were really only around to add some weight to another brand new mechanic added way back when... Enlightenment, or lunacy as I have come to call it myself. Now, this is not an enlightenment guide, folks, so if you'd like to know how it works and where it actually comes from, then you're gonna have to head elsewhere. However, the basics are still as follows. The lower your sanity, the lower your enlightenment. The higher your sanity, the higher your enlightenment. And to be honest, well, at least while you're here on the lunar island, that is, neither of those things actually matter. But. We'll get to that. For now though, let us keep things in line with gestalts. When our enlightenment is or at above 25%, we will actually start to see gestalts materialize. However, they are actually quite skittish at this time and will actively try to avoid us if we happen to get close. But come 50% enlightenment and above, they go a little on the defensive slash offensive side if we happen to get close, folks. Continue to approach them, and yes, they will in fact strike us. But here's the thing, gestalts don't actually deal damage. Like, at all. Instead, their hits not only raise our current enlightenment by 10, they imply grogginess to us for a short while. And while we may get in that a little more, finally, come 80% enlightenment and above, these little guys will show no more fear and attempt to strike us immediately upon us getting too close. And as you can see, they're pretty easy to dodge. And again, getting hit by them doesn't actually hurt. So that is why I say enlightenment really doesn't matter at the end of the day, everyone. As long as the blue filter doesn't bother you, that is. But all that said, what actually happens if we get hit in quick succession from these things? Well, if two gestalts hit us back to back within a couple seconds of one another, they will actually put us to sleep. Not the normal sleep that we can get from tents and all that, but still. And it only lasts for six seconds too, so it's not really significant. But it is rather unique, however. Stay tuned until after the video to learn how to combat all this. That is, the grogginess and sleeping aspect of things, as new mechanics can actually help us make it so gestalts avoid us altogether nowadays. For you see, gestalts are afraid of the forces of shadow and the nightmarish crafts that come with them. In short, dropping a dark sword in front of an aggroed gestalt will cause it to flee, and flee they shall. Very cool and very fitting considering how some of the other mechanics we'll be mentioning here later on work. Oh, but it's not just shadowy weaponry either, everyone. Note that gestalts will also recoil at the sight of night lights as well. Now, will I now be recommending people gear up and spend resources on all this just to avoid a mob that deals no damage and may just put you to sleep for a mere six seconds? Of course not. But I will tell you folk about all of this so that we can just all appreciate how bloody unique it is though. Oh, but these little moon ghosts are not the only ones around anymore folks. No siree Bob. While the introduction of the Forgotten Knowledge update did in fact bring with it the Lunar Grotto and even more places to encounter gestalts, it is the ancient archives that will lead us to their bigger, badder brothers. Let's talk about how though. And for those of you who have been paying close attention these last few weeks, you already know the drill here. 
But to those of you who are new, say hello to the ornate pedestals. Found somewhere in the ancient archives, these allow us to activate the ancient archive itself and set into motion the future of the constant by unlocking its past. But cryptic nonsense aside, you will need to complete the Moonstone event for another iridescent gem in order to experience what we are about to be talking about for yourselves. But essentially, what we have done is start a war. A war between the moon and Charlie. With an activated archive comes the spawning of nightmare creatures throughout the lunar grotto and nightmare ramparts at the borders of it, all culminating in a non-stop battle between said nightmare creatures and our newest friends, the Greater Gestalts. Now, Two things. This once led to a new nightmare fuel farm, however that is no longer the case, sadly. And secondly, we can actually hit greater gestalts, however they usually vanish well before that chance, and then just do nothing afterwards regardless. Well, at least when we're not shadows, that is. For you see, while the smaller gestalts are afraid of all things nightmares, these greater gestalts don't give a crap. In fact, they will even dive headfirst into attacking the reanimated skeleton. If for whatever reason Shadow Swoo Monkeys are still following you come a nightmare cycle, you can lead them here and they'll get wiped out. The ancient fuel weaver itself can be attacked by these things, however that is super far-fetched as we should know, and even Maxwell's very own shadow puppets will die instantly if you bring him into this biome. And the scary bit, and I believe I said this the first time I saw them, nothing can actually damage these greater gestalts, and that should tell us all we need to know about the power of the moon. And I hate to break it to you friends, but we aren't safe around the moon anymore either. For you see, if we equip a dark sword and or knight armor around these guys, they also turn their attention to us, dealing an insane 180 points of damage, enough to darn near one-shot most every survivor in this game. Oh boy, be afraid, be very afraid. We are just pawns in this game, everyone. But neat contrast between the two Gestalt variants, though. Oh, and that contrast actually extends to one last thing here. Their relationships with night lights. As we know now, the tiny Gestalts will avoid one at all costs. However, these big Gestalts will do everything they can to actually extinguish every night light around. And that's cool stuff. What about all them counters the Gestalts I mentioned earlier? And as you can probably put together yourself now, we're actually talking about counters for the smaller Gestalts, as nothing's going to be standing up to the greater ones. But thankfully, we're already in the right place to do so. The Lunar Grotto added plenty of new and interesting things. However, what we're after today are moon shrooms. New mushrooms attained via lunar mush trees, mush gnomes, and mole bat burrows, perhaps. Just watch out for them new lunar spores along the way, though, and you'll be good. Now, raw moon shrooms actually put us to sleep all the same as gestalts do. So what you need to do is actually cook them, as cooked moon shrooms cancel out the grogginess effect of... Well, actually anything that causes grogginess, but let's stay focused on the gestalts for another minute here. For you see, with the new update finally out in full, we can finally take advantage of one further thing. The mushy cake. For a while, we thought this thing did this, and then we thought it did that, and then we thought it did another thing. But, it actually looks like it's been fixed. So, let's see what it can do for us now. And it's going to be costing you one of each shroom, by the by. A mushy cake raises our sleep resistance just enough to cancel out darn near every sleep effect in the entire game for an entire day. So now, these gestalts are just completely negated in every facet, just like that. But was it worth it? Pfft, no. It's not worth it in the slightest, but hey, it's still cool. And there you have it, everyone. An overview of Gestalts in Don't Starve Together, at least for now. Because I have a feeling this is not going to be the last of these not-so-simple mobs. And I have a feeling that our quote-unquote friendship with them is waning very fast. But thanks for watching, folks. Well wishes to all. Choose a side, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.